Hola amigos, hello everyone, welcome back to free SketchUp tutorial series, the only free tutorial series in an organized manner in YouTube. This is section D of the series, watch previous section of this tutorial series to get familiar with the basics and important elements of SketchUp as a beginner and keep up with the course. This is second part of section D in which I will show you the easiest and quick way of making circle in SketchUp and how to convert a circle to an ellipse. So let's begin with it. Before we draw a circle, we should understand how SketchUp creates circle entities and what are the different parameters involved. Circle entities have a radius and connect multiple line segments. These segments act as a single line in that they can define the edge of a face and divide a face. Additionally, selecting one segment selects the entire circle entity. SketchUp's inference engine still sees the segments in the circle. So if you hover your mouse around the circumference of the circle entity, you will see endpoint and midpoint inferences. How to draw a circle? To draw a circle, follow these steps. From the large tool set, select the circle tool or press the C key. The cursor changes to a pencil with a circle and the measurement box indicates the default number of sides as 24. Let's keep the number of sides as 24 only. Now click the left mouse button to set the center of your rectangle and move your cursor away from the center. As you move the cursor, the radius value is displayed dynamically in the measurement box. You can press escape key at any point to start over or you can directly type the value in the measurement box for circle radius. Or you can keep dragging your cursor till you find the right radius for your circle. Left click to finish the circle. SketchUp creates a circle shaped face as shown. Now sides of a circle are actually the count of number of segments included in a circle. If number of sides are increased, circle will become more fine, but the file size will also increase. Let me show you with example. To change the number of sides or segments of a rectangle, you can directly type the value in the measurement box before giving the center of the rectangle. Or as shown in the status bar below, you can use keyboard shortcut as Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus to increase or decrease the number of segments respectively. Now our previous circle was made with 24 segments. We can see the straight line in the circle. The edges are not fine. This is because the diameter of the circle is large in proportion to the number of segments. Larger the dia, more the segments. So to get a fine circle of same dia, let's increase the number of segments from 24 to 48 and then define the center of the circle and make another circle of same dia. You can see the difference between the edges of two circles easily. The circle with 48 sides is more refined than the previous. How to edit circle shape? Another quicker way to edit your circle entity is by using Entity Info dialog. Select your entity, then right click and select Entity Info option. Or you can go to default tray and go to the entity info panel. You can see all entities of circle are present here like radius, sides and circumference. You can further edit the circle entities from here even after your shape is completed like changing the radius or number of sides or segments. How to draw an ellipse or oval shape? As you know, the major and minor axis of an ellipse are diameters of the ellipse. The major axis is the longest diameter and the minor axis is the shortest. And if they are equally length, then the ellipse is a circle. 
So when you have both your major and minor axis, like the one I have drawn in the screen, just select the already drawn circle or make a new one. It doesn't matter what diameter of circle you are making. Now select the circle and use scale command from the large tool set or use S key as a shortcut. You can see a bounding box with 8 green grips is displayed around the circle. When you bring your mouse over any grip, the color of the grip changes to red. Click and drag one of the middle grips along the minor axis and move the mouse to pull the circle into an ellipse as shown. Click again by using another middle grip along the major axis and dragging to the end point of the major axis on both the sides. And your ellipse is ready. So this was an overview about circle tool in SketchUp. I have covered more application of circle tool in further videos. In the next video of this section, I have covered the polygon tool and its various applications, making polygons by using radius and sides both and many more. So keep practicing and happy modeling guys. Thanks.